Urban Meyer already met with the team this morning. This comes from uh, NFL media, both Ian Rappaport and Aditi Kinkabwala. Uh, I let's see. I'm told. Uh, I told the team he's always cared about two things: his family and his players. I embarrassed them both. So uh, there it is, and uh, that's where it currently stands. But today's draft already locked and loaded. Not that. Not that his ongoing efforts to just keep talking until the situation goes away will make it any better. The worst college to NFL coaching transitions. Do we have a trivia question or do we need to get to it? No time for trivia, they tell me. Chris, you're up. Chris, no, Chris goes first. Chris, okay. go ahead. All right. Um, hmm. This is actually a tough one to pick from here. I, I, I guess I'm going to go with Bobby Petrino to lead off the list. I mean, Bobby Petrino, like, well, what a disaster that was. I, I mean, I don't know any other way to say it. I mean, the fact that he just... Of course, no success, losing games in Atlanta, you know, had the had the Michael Vick fiasco and then just kind of tuck tailed and left town like that. That was a disaster in, in all in all areas. So for me, it's just a disaster because, yeah, he, he didn't even get a chance to fail. He just basically quit right on the spot. So I'll, I'll lead that uh, lead with that one right there. And look, when he took the job, he thought he was going to have Michael Vick. Yeah. Not that I am defending Bobby Petrino because it would have been my first pick as well. But it, it was doomed to fail from the get-go. And uh, Petrino made the exit, and the Falcons were better off for it. I'm torn. Yeah, I know. I'm There's torn. tough ones. I will go. I got to go with Nick Saban. I have to. Okay. He was there for two years in Miami, didn't get to the playoffs, and the way that it ended there with the I'm not going to be the Alabama coach and since two weeks after he said that until today and continuously after today, he's the Alabama coach. Look, and, and well, he's made it worse as time has gone by with this bullcrap explanation about why they didn't sign Drew Brees. He's mm -hmm. blaming everyone but himself. If he wanted Drew Brees, he was going to have Drew Brees. Yeah. He's blaming others for his ultimate decision, whether he decided to defer to the doctors or whatever, he had the keys, and he didn't take Breeze. And I didn't mean that, need that, uh, or mean that to rhyme. But, was cool, uh, though. With, he I'll had the keys. Sam. He didn't take Breeze. I like that. It's it's on him. He yeah. wanted Dante Culpepper instead, and uh, he got what he paid for. Yeah, so. I, I mean, yes. It, it, it especially you know I think it's it's yeah that one's like magnified because of of course how great of a college coach he is. So you just go, man, how did how did it not work out a little bit better in the NFL? Certainly, uh, I think the next I got I'll go Steve Spurrier. I mean, you know, I just the the audacity of Spurrier made maybe he should have been the first pick. I mean, he thought he was just going to go in the NFL and it was going to be Danny Werfel and I'm just going to throw bombs all over the field. Remember, I mean, what was that, the New England preseason game where he scored like 60 points against the Patriots? And, like, he thought, man, what's so hard about this NFL stuff? What's so hard about this NFL stuff? I can tell you, I was on the Bucks team that played you a little later that year, and you got four plays in your playbook. That was the that was, it was easy about your NFL stuff. You had four plays, and that, that just didn't work. It was a disaster, and uh, that will be my second pick. He mocked then Saints coach Jim Haslett right. for working too hard. Right. Haslett wanted to beat the hell out he of him. He wanted to go play golf. Teams met. Yeah. When their teams met, he did beat the hell out of uh, at least Spurrier's team, not Spurrier himself. Next one for me, I'll go Greg Schiano, the Bucks coach, for uh, a brief period of time. Toes on the line and the various criticisms of the hard-nosed yeah. reality. It right. doesn't work unless you get some pelts on the wall and or on the horse. And we mentioned Schiano earlier this week because – he was the guy that would torpedo victory formation. At least he was trying to win the game. At least the game still technically wasn't undecided when he was having guys do that. But it did not go well for Shiana. All right, who else? You yeah, got? you can't you can't be like the 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 you know too strict of a general before you got to show a little success there. And that that I think is where Shiano messed up a little bit. Um, my last one, I'm gonna go Lou Holtz. It's one from the a blast from the past, but. You know, I I even had a like I was like, wait, didn't Lou Holtz coach with the Jets at one point? And that was an absolute disaster. I think that ended up in two or three wins. But, you know, again, it goes back to a lot of these guys where, yeah, they got great communication skills, a lot of them, but it's just a different game in the NFL. You know, good speeches and communicating well and being friends with your players doesn't go anywhere in the NFL. It has nothing to do with that. And uh, it, it's the word you used before. Strategy is the, is the big thing in the NFL. I... Oh, I'm tempted to say Chip Kelly here, but he went to the playoffs. He did, he did go to the playoffs. His record's not that After bad. After that, 
it became a total disaster. I'm going to go Mike Riley. Okay. Mike Riley yeah. was horrendous in three years with the San Diego Chargers. Right. They, they, they were horrible, I think, pretty much every year. Uh, and uh, uh, we know a guy that played on those teams who has vouched for me how bad the – the uh, the coaching was back in those years of 1999 through 2001. So <laughs> Mike Riley, so bad that you really have to think about it. Yeah, like 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 he just kind of was. It's like it never even happened. Right. Um, right. It wasn't it wasn't as notorious as some of these others, but it was pretty bad. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.